guys, it's Fobine, and I know a lot of you were asking reasons about um, why I specifically decided to dress modestly and why just the way I do. I do have a video planned on making that so you can see biblical reasons of why I chose to dress the way I do. But I thought it would be great, um, I was away at a camp meeting event where it's just a bunch of my brothers and sisters in Christ and we come together and we study the Word of God and just to realize the work He's called us to do in these last days. Um, I figured it would be great to show you guys guys and young women, or young men and young women in Christ from all different age groups to share with you um, words of encouragement on how God has convicted them to dress modestly and how it's not really all about the outward appearance, but it's a manifestation of Christ working on the inside of your heart. And so I thought it would be, would be a great way to encourage you all. So I really hope you enjoy this little compilation of some of my good okay, friends. Okay, so this is my friend, Sister Maggie. Hi, Maggie. Hi. <laughs> and as you can see, she has on her modest outfit. We're at camp meeting. And I'm just going to ask her some questions. Okay, so Sister Maggie, why did you start dressing modestly? Well, for, the first reason is to glorify God in my apparel. And um, also just because of health reasons, I see how important it is to cover your limbs. Mm -hmm. And um, I do live in a tropical, in the Caribbean, and it's always like they think, oh, you should wear the short things like exposed because it's really hot. Mm -hmm. But actually, if you cover your um, body, it actually helps with the um, temperature and it helps to keep you cool mm -hmm. and also just to don't expose my body to be attracted to the wrong kind of like the things you wear also tells you like who you worship and who you serve yeah so um, the reason why I changed my dress code like two years ago was because I realized that the things the way I dressed before mm -hmm. were just a little it was too revealing and attract the wrong crowd. Yeah. So when I started to give my, and give my life back to the Christ, I easily walk with him and see what would you have me to do for my life. And I realized that dressing was a really important part of my walk and change with him. So oh, I saw that if I cover myself up to glorify God, it also helps others to see that not only by what I say, but what I do and how I carry myself mm -hmm. can be a, um, a witness as well. So it's very, it's easier to, to do so. For my YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. Hi, Zariah. Hi, Zariah. Hi. I have a question for you. Yeah? Do you think that guys can dress modestly? Sure they can. So I'm going to show them what you're wearing. What can you point out that might be different about the way a lot of guys may dress today? Well, for one, I'm not sagging my pants. Oh, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that belt. And two, uh, wearing long sleeves in the summer. Uh-huh. Uh, what does that do? Wearing... Oh, what does this do? Uh-huh. Well, it blocks your skin, like from the exposed area, from the sun, yeah. from the heat, and it regulates your blood flow, too. Yes, and yes. it keeps you thinking about it. Yep. Do you feel extra hot? You feel fine? No, I feel cool. Yeah. All right, and um, yeah, so that's my brother. So just so you guys know, it's not just only women that have to dress modestly, everyone. And so we can glorify God in the way we're dressed and that we're presentable. Okay, so here's a secret guest. You haven't seen my sister Shayna before. You've always seen Nyla. She was away, she graduated high school, and this is her modest outfit of the day. And I thought I would share with you guys and give you a sneak peek of my sister. All right, so here's my friend Elena. Hi, Elena. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 17. 17. And this is her modest outfit today. She has a beautiful maxi dress on. And my question for you is what made you decide to dress modestly? Um, there were a lot of factors that like keyed into it. But the biggest one, I guess, is really that I wanted to show that I honored God in the way I dress. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to take the attention off of what is me and focus it on more important things. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really one of the biggest things and I wanted to make sure that I wasn't being a stumbling block for other people. Amen. So these are my friends. We're at camp meeting right now. This is Delisa and Rochelle and Xavier. And I love them so much. And I'm just gonna ask them, what are your general views on modesty and what has God revealed to you about that topic? Or most of Actually, no, when most people think of modesty, they don't think of dress. They think of being meek and a humble spirit sometimes. I mean, mm -hmm. but actually, I think dress is very important. You know, the Bible asks us to be our brother's keeper. And actually, that's what's changed, had me change my my dress. I, I never thought, I, I always thought to have a semi-humble.
humble spirit. Mm -hmm. But understanding that the outward point of parents also shows that, you know, mm -hmm. and for my brother's keeper, I don't need him lusting of anything what he may see, so I have to protect his eyes and also, so um, those are my thoughts on this. Oh, yeah, and thank you. Mm -hmm. And you guys? Um, well, for me, as I think about the Lord, you know, and He's and He's our Father. A father always wants to protect their daughter, right? Mm -hmm. And God considers me to be His treasure. And so, you know, this pastor always says that you never reveal what is valuable. You always cover it up. Like if you have a valuable car, you'll cover up the car and those things. Mm -hmm. And I'm valuable in God's sight, and He doesn't want me to just be exposed to the world or anything like that. He wants to cover up His treasure. And I think also when people think of modesty, sometimes they think you can't look good if you're modest, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like frumpy. But you proved them wrong. <laughs> yes, yes. Praise God. So, yeah, he shows us that we can be stylish and we can still be modest. Praise the Lord. And Sister Xavier. Hi. Yeah, uh, when it comes to modesty, you know, I always thought the opposite of you. I thought, of, you know, it's just covering and everything. But I learned recently, or relatively recently, that true modesty is the spirit the spirit how you are mm -hmm. as a person and how you are on the outside mm -hmm. and that combination is really true modesty mm -hmm. you, know, you can't have one without the other mm -hmm. and, um, yeah and when you have the, the inner modesty and the outer modesty you know that's a serious protection from dangers in the world when um, today in society you have Lawmakers who say that a woman, you know, you can't blame women for what happens to them when they dress a certain way. Mm -hmm. And that goes against, you know, what the Bible says, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, it's, it's beyond logic. My other thought on modesty was that God created, um, when God created Adam and Eve in the garden, they were actually naked, but they were clothed with the glory of God. So mm -hmm. they weren't ashamed of their nakedness. And once they sinned, and that glory of God was stripped away, they were now showing that they were naked and they were shameful in that. And I believe that if we continue to, to be naked and show our flesh the way that God doesn't want us to show it, we're reminding Him constantly of the sin that we've done. We're constantly showing Him that we don't mind being shameful. We don't mind not having the glory of God cover us and um, for our sins. So that's my Wow, thank you so much. Okay, so this is, she's like an auntie, my auntie Carolyn. Hi, auntie Carolyn. And my pretend little cousins, Justin and Jordan. Hey. Say hi. Hey. Okay, how old are you, Justin? Eight. And how old are you, Jordan? Four. Okay, and you guys run around everywhere all the time, right? Yes. And if you step to the side, you see Auntie Carolyn is wearing a skirt. She's dressed modestly. So, Auntie Carolyn, you're a mom. You're a modest mom. What made you decide to dress modestly? I believe that the skin is what I just talking about. Yes. Okay, and how long have you been dressing modestly? A long time? Yes. It's too long to remember. Okay. And do you find that it's hard like running after your boys when you're dressing like with a skirt or a dress or anything like that? No, so you feel fine? Yes. Cool. So just so this is an encouragement to moms that you can still take care of your boys or girls and still dress modestly and be the, the queen that God has called you to be. Yes. Amen. How, what do you like about how the way your mom dresses? Oh, I like it because um, she doesn't show her skin and it's more safer and she doesn't get any diseases or sickness. Mm -hmm. And um, I also like it because we hardly get colds. All right, and you told me also earlier that you like that her body, that she isn't showing her body off to everybody, right? Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, Justin. Bye. Bye. Oh, wait. Here's un Uncle Kenton, this is her husband. Hello. Uncle Kenton, really quick, for the people. Hi. Do you believe that men can dress modestly as well? Sure. So is this no, your... they need to dress modestly. Yes, okay, so this is your modest outfit. Yes, it is. Can you explain to the viewers how men can actually dress modestly? Well, uh, first thing you need to be evenly clad. Uh -huh. Make sure you have long sleeves on to protect your skin. Mm -hmm. uh, we do need vitamin D, but... Uh, not just, uh, you know, exposing chest and hair mm -hmm. and, and legs. Mm -hmm. um, men are not the only ones that look at legs. Ladies do too. <laughs> um, so in order to protect your sisters and, 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 and 
cherish them, mm -hmm. we dress modest. Not only that, with my two boys, I also want to teach them how to dress. Mm -hmm. And even when you're dressed down, you still make sure your, your jeans are pulled up, right? Oh, definitely. All right. Oh, definitely. <laughs> okay, thanks for So these are uh, some of my friends and my brother's friends. Here's my brother again. Okay, so what are you guys' names and how old are you? My name is Matthew. Okay. My name is Jonathan, I'm 18. Uh huh. Josiah, 14. Okay, and modesty. Do you think that guys can dress modestly? Anyone can answer. Yes. How can guys, well, how could a guy not dress modestly? Well, when, I would say basically when he has a pants is not his size and, not, and it's hanging off his, his uh, waist. All right. Tight clothes. Tight clothes, okay, so, tight this, clothes so there could be an extreme of excessively baggy and excessively tight. Yes. Okay. Well, I think like both. Mm -hmm. That if you like, you have your head turned sideways, your pants on the ground, mm -hmm. shirt off, mm -hmm. walking around like you're a thug, that type of dress. All right, so how can a young man dress modestly? They can wear like clothes that can fit them, mm -hmm. not too tight. Not too um, big and baggy. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Also, uh, another thing, um, when you do wear a belt, make sure you don't wear it tightly. Uh -huh. um, it does, it cuts off the circulation of the blood that comes up. You see, when I raise up my hand, uh -huh. my shirt comes out. Uh -huh. That's all, that's that's how it's supposed to come. That's how the uh, belt is supposed to be tight. Okay. Tight enough to for the shirt to come out. Okay. If it, if it, the shirt doesn't come out, it's too tight. Okay. So you don't want it too tight for health reasons. And yes. if your pants are too loose, you want to wear a belt to keep it up. But if your pants fit, then you know that's yes. great. There are other like if you're not gonna wear a belt, mm -hmm. then you could wear like suspenders. All right. To hold up your pants. Mm -hmm. Which is a, almost a, a good healthy way also. And Josiah, yeah. how about you? You're only 14, right? Yeah. Okay, so how do you feel about modesty? Do you, do you feel that um, you should only dress modestly for church? No, at all times. At all times. How come? Well, it represents like who you are on the inside. Mm -hmm. So like the way you dress reveals your character and our character is supposed to be like Jesus. Amen. Amen. So if you wear pants below the waist, tight or extra extra baggy whatever mm -hmm. dancing no shirt dirty clothes all that stuff that doesn't represent christ even outside church mm -hmm. all right well i believe that you are to dress properly according to the bible it says that women are to, are to dress modestly and in the um but in the spirit of prophecy which is written by and then white, it says that you are to cover your extremities and and keep it um, properly clad and to keep your body running mm -hmm. how it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of hard for me to dress properly mm -hmm. until I was convicted that I was supposed to. Mm -hmm. So that's really why I dress. Praise the Lord, thank you. Your turn. <laughs> so what, how do you feel about modesty? Good. Why do you think God wants you to dress modestly? Yeah, you know, right? our body. Mm -hmm. and Pretty much that, right? <laughs> okay. And how about you? Well, um, I started reading in the Bible in the Spirit of Prophecy about dress reform. And I didn't really like it because I never liked to wear long skirts and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I kept on reading and got convicted and then I went to camp meeting. Mm -hmm. And I see a lot of terrible girls and boys just in modest and then after that it came to me and I don't want to wear any short things or just unmodest for anyone. Praise the Lord. Okay and last but not least <laughs> how do you feel about modesty? Um it's good and it it keeps your your body warm. Mm -hmm. I do like to wear long Mm -hmm. Okay, well thank you guys so much. Alright, so here's my friend Al Marie. Hi Al Marie. How old are you? If you don't mind sharing with them. No, not at all. I am 24 years old. 24. Alright, so what are your views on modesty? What is it to you? Modesty to me, I guess to answer that I kind of explain why I dress modestly mm -hmm. at, at, at the same time. So for me, Modesty is um, truly understanding as a, a woman of God. 
our relationship to God and how that affects our bodies and how we are perceived. So that being the case for me, um, modesty is understanding and, and respecting. Realizing that because we're told in, in uh, First Corinthians that our bodies are, are the temple of the Holy Ghost and that Christ and, and the Holy Spirit is our temple within us. The temple having different compartments, you know, our, our bodies being that most holy place. And knowing that in the, in, in the sanctuary, the most important thing is, is protecting. Mm -hmm. So for me, understanding that being modest is protecting those, that thing that is so desired, that is so precious. Mm -hmm. So um, that is, is why I dress the way I dress. And that is because of my understanding and, and respect of the beauty that the Lord has given to women and then desiring to protect it. Okay, so this is Brother Marcus. and. Um, He's just going to share with us some of his views on modesty. Many ask, why is modesty important? What is modesty? Well, to me, from experience, I've learned that modesty is understanding your value in the eyes of God. Many people have things that are precious and they cover them. Whether it is jewelry, they keep it in a box. Even sometimes in a car, people build carports. They keep the sun from getting to their car. Some people keep things in their glove box. Some people cover things with a cloth because it's precious. That's how God made us. When we were created, God had us clothed in his robe of righteousness, his life, his garments. And he also wants to do that for us. But since we've sinned, we have to wear artificial garments, but we are still precious in His sight. So He comes with us. So as we learn our value in the eyes of God, we need to understand that we must be modest, and not only in our outward appearance, but in our mind. Hi, Sister Samantha. Hello. <laughs> so today, I'm going to ask my good friend, Sister Samantha, what are your views on modesty? And um, did you always dress modestly? Like, what made you change? Well, um, I have not always dressed modestly. In fact, I didn't dress modestly at all for many, many years. Um, but the Lord really brought this light of truth to me on modesty by way of certain messages I was hearing in regards to dressing for mm -hmm. And I realized that I was not living up to the light of this particular message. You know, I asked God and I prayed and I said, Boy, please change my heart, please change my desires. Because I love fashion, I always did, mm -hmm. and it was very hard for me to kind of give up certain things. And But nonetheless, you know, I just kind of gave myself to God and just asked Him to remove that desire within me to want to dress and look like the world. Mm -hmm. And I realized that every time I would put on you know, like a pair of pants or something that I, you know, the Lord was really saying, you know, I really shouldn't be just in this way. And so, slowly but surely, um, I began to start looking for modest clothing. And I saw how difficult it was to obtain modest clothing in the traditional stores. And, you know, I said, okay, well, what am I supposed to do now? And I remember coming to my camp meeting about three years ago. I came to a camp meeting. And we're actually on site right now at a camp meeting, and I praise the Lord for that. But anyway, it was at a camp meeting. I met a young lady, and I and I asked her. So she had on a long skirt, and and I was very interested in, in dressing that way. And I said, Well, where do you find these skirts? Mm -hmm. And she was like, Oh, the thrift store. And I said, The thrift store. I've never shopped at a thrift store. I never went to a thrift store. I was never interested in thrift stores. It was, you know. So I was like, Oh, really? And so anyway, it just kind of ended that way. But I realized that that was actually one of the avenues and things where I can find yes. um, modest clothing at very reasonable prices. And I was like, wow, Lord, you know, this was always available. And I was kind of blinded from that fact. But I just thank God that he works with us wherever we are.